Okay, so here, which is building this hangar to hold this project within my oven, my DIY oven. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a bracket. Hopefully in the next hour, if everything goes all right here. Um, I have a lot to cover, you know, I have to drill two holes in this yet. So when I start the solar camera, So hopefully the signal is good enough here because um, earlier on the other live stream, the signal was kind of poor, poor quality for some reason. So the plan is now to make a bracket, sort of like a, a channel. So I need this, um, I need this uh, project, this frame sitting in this position in the oven at this height. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the pulley wheel. So here we have the poly wheel. I'll turn it round. So this is what I want to connect the frame to. But to do that, I have to make a channel that connects directly to this part of the oven. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to get my head around it here. What way I'm going to do this. So I'd say if I make a channel, five mil, or sorry not five mil, five inches wide by one inch deep depth. So I'm just thinking, let me see. But these are settings, so it sort of swings on this piece here, rather than being set in the oven like this. So we'll bring it out here, we'll get started. So the first thing, when I start the on camera here. So hopefully the signal is good. I'm pretty far away from the router, the house, the router. So I'll start this on camera. Testing. Okay. So, what I want to do here is I want to hang this part, this project, this frame in the oven at this position. So, um, with this poly wheel sitting in the center. So, I need some. I was initially hang it like this. But um, that's no good. I don't want it like that now, I want it like this. So the plan is to have a flat bar with four folds on it. Running down here and up and across. Hopefully everything goes well here. I'm going to try and do it on this live stream. So the first thing I need to do here is drill two holes in the centre. And tap them out to 5mm. So the holes need to be 4.2. So I'm going to set it on the ground. I'm going to actually take it closer to the connection's not great today. I don't know if it's the weather or something. It's affecting signal. So we'll do these two holes here first. Oh dear. Signal's terrible, hey. The signal is terrible today. I'm gonna to come over to this side of the ground. I'm gonna to have to bring everything over here. I better run my mobile data in the box. So I have to bring everything over to here because we're a wee bit closer to the router in the house. I just work on the floor.
So the channel is nearly done. We have terrible signal today. To be honest with you. So how do I move up there? To the lower end of the garage. It's annoying. Four meters closer to the house. I'm looking for a wee uh, dome head. There it is there. So we need that. Poor good one. So I need a pack around here now, anyway. See what time it is. Go. Oh, right. I'll cut the packer now, and I'll draw these two holes. So I need a packer in here now, 100 mil. So that's to keep the right height, to keep this up. See what distance and what length it needs to be. So anything with on these threads, okay? I need to position this camera too. <laughs> I don't need these doors there. No. So if I cut this anywhere within the reds here, so that the nut tightens in against it and keeps this channel up tight to the pulley wheel or the pulley system of the oven. So I'll cut this now, I'm going to get a mask here. So if I place this on to the pulley mechanism now right? and tighten the nut against it, when the when this is put, or positioned or pushed on to the tracking system within the oven, the project that I'm powder coating will stay up to the right height. Without this spacer, it's no good. And I don't want to modify my pulley system. So without this spacer, it would sit down here. But what's the spacer? It sits at the right height. With these bands that I got on there now. So two holes and I'm finished. So I know the live stream there is cutting in now, but um something to do with the bad nose is a bad signal today. Eh? So I have these holes here up the side of the guy. Just going 
clean this fence because it's very messy. And it's coming close to cutting time. So the hole size is um, in a five and a half or six, it's for these five mil dome head screws. So these will screw into my project then, the two holes that I tapped to start this video. Have to remove the broken tap here. So it's a good for Russian. So I'll take this off again and I'll drill the holes with the bait on the bench. And I'll demonstrate this on the, the project before I wrap this light came up. Okay, so the two holes now need to be 192mm apart. Or thereabouts. This tape measure is uh, so bad I have to go the whole way out here. So they obviously need to be equal. There you go. And let's just check the measurements. So I just marked this roughly. So that um doesn't need to be perfect. It's I want it to balance right this way because of the length, not the width. So um they're close enough and I'll just confirm. 35 here and 35 on there. So that's equal. So let's get these drilled. I'm not even going to center punch them. Just going to use a good drill bit. So it's one of them days, <laughs> everything went wrong. Mm -hmm. Everything went wrong. You should have the glasses on on doing this. I'll clamp it. Not use my legs. I'm only asking for butter. So I'll just give us a wee counter so. Well, I might take this out to six mil. I will. How do I see it? I can get a six mil here. There we go. Don't even need the counter socket, I'll do that now. So one hole the other side and this um, bracket's complete. So rough and ready, it's only to hold the project up in the oven. Stretching my thumb too much. There we go, so that's it finished. I'm going to test it now, demonstrate it. I'm going to have to look at my thumb. Because the stitches is all um, coming, getting wet and stretched. I'm going to have to go and do them again. It's quite dark on here on the project. So things didn't go, I can't have to watch the signal, so things didn't go to plan, 
in this live stream because everything started going wrong. Well, anyway. So now, I'll get the other piece too. And importantly, I have to record with this camera. I need to see it closer to the house. That's what I need. Okay, so I'll bring this one down too. I may as well. So we can see what the idea is behind this piece that I just um, done on the slice stream. So if I take well, the plan is now right to screw this directly to my workpiece and what about the oven? So this will hang at the right height within the oven. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate that again for the other camera, right? Well, one final thing. So this will be powder put it in maybe a week's time. So the plan is now to hang this in the oven, right? Is I place this hanger bracket like so onto the tap holes which are here this should screw in back with this other stuff does I'll take this glove off so obviously at the start of this video um, I was rushing and I broke tap here but I'll, I'll get it out at the end of this video so now with this poly wheel on here, I can put the spacer on. And below the and that project will sit in the oven at the right height. I'll get a track and just the track in here. So this here is part of my tracking for the oven. So this, this what this does is it connects the oven and the powder coat, or sorry, the powder coating booth together, and I'll be able to slide the this triangle piece, this project, from the powder coating booth to the oven. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the live stream up, and I'm going to remove this broken hat. And yeah. That's funny, it's just ready for powder footing. So the tracking system is a really good job.